What's going on now? What's going on? Back at you guys with more and more real topics about life. Um, this is something that I think needs to be talked about. Uh, um, every every man is not a prize. I want to I want to talk to you guys about this real quick. Uh, you know, they say that men are the prize, but one thing that's not told is that every man is not a prize to women. Um, there are some men, you know, it's very unfortunate. It's sad, but there are some men that just don't measure up to what women want. Um, this, you know, there are some men who are a prize to women. You know, there are some men, you know, women find them to be very attractive. You know, there are some men who are, you know, that guy when it comes to the ladies. But let's be real here. Every man is not that guy when it comes to the ladies. Every man is not a sex symbol. Uh, you know, God didn't make every man sexy when it comes to women. Uh, people try to make it seem like, you know, we as human beings are all equal and that God made us all special. God didn't make us all special. We are not all valuable, you know, and that's something that needs to be told. See, people know the truth about this kind of stuff, but they don't want to talk about it because it's very sensitive. Uh, some men have to compensate with money. And that's one of the main reasons to why I want lots of money, because money is a way that you could get a woman to tolerate you. See, there are some men who can pull women on the strength of themselves because women find them to be a good looking man. But there are some men who have to have assets in order to pull a woman. Uh, every man is just not good enough for women. That's the truth. You know, I, I know that every man just ain't that guy, you know, you know, and if you've never been a dude that women are attracted to, you just, you know, you just got to accept that you just not one of them dudes, you know, you just not, you just not one of them dudes that women get wet for, you know, um, you know, a lot of guys are totally misinformed about women. A lot of guys are told that women care about personality. A lot of guys are told that women care about confidence. Uh, women are shallow people. They don't, they don't care about no personality. They don't care about no confidence. Women care about looks. They care about how much money you got. That's what women care about. And I think if men were told the truth about women and how these narcissistic creatures really get down, it would save men a lot of heartache and pain. Uh, some men are just not good enough for women. You know, every man is not sexy to women. Every man is not uh, a boss type of dude. You know, uh, some men are just rejects and outcasts. You know, every dude can't be the ladies man. Every dude can't be, you know, a LL Cool J type of dude. You know, every man can't be a guy like that. And don't let people try to shame you or tell you, that, you know, it's your fault that you've never been successful with women. You know, don't buy that. You know, God didn't make us all special. Some people just ain't good enough out here. You know, that's why I, I don't I don't pay people no attention. When people tell me that I need to man up, when people tell me that I need to change my mindset, I'm not trying to hear it. I ain't trying to hear it. See, you got a lot of men who, who need their man card revoked, too. Because, see, you got a lot of men, especially dudes who are chosen by women. They'll tell you that you need to change your mindset and you need to change your attitude. It's funny how women don't have to change anything. But you as a man, you got to change things about you. That's BS. I don't buy that. You know, and see, you got a lot of men who are simps. They believe in kissing a woman behind. You know, women are never told that they're wrong about anything. Women are always told they're right about everything. That's why they're so daggone narcissistic. One thing about Kevin Samuel, see, he shut these women down. He told them that they wasn't all of that. 
See, women ego is too big. That's the problem because women are never challenged. See, a real man is going to challenge a woman and tell her when she's out of line. You know, that's why I don't pay these men no attention. Men who try to tell me that I'm beta, men who try to tell me that it's my fault to why I'm not being chosen by these narcissistic demons. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. Like women are shallow. They're narcissistic. They all about looks when it come to men. They only care about what they can get out of a man that, you know, women are not these good people that they're painted out to be. And the truth of the matter is, you know, if you a dude that ain't being chosen by women, don't let nobody tell you that it's your mindset or it's your attitude to why women ain't checking for you. The reason why women ain't checking for you because you're just not good enough. You don't have the genetics to pull no female. You're just not good enough. You don't look good enough. You know, that's all it is to it. So don't let nobody try to shame you or tell you that it's your fault, because I noticed that's what people like to do. If you a man that's unsuccessful with women, people want to tell you that it's your fault. How? How is it my fault that God didn't make me good enough? You know, there are some men that's just not good enough to pull no female. They ain't sexy enough. Every man don't possess the sex appeal to get a woman wet. Every man don't possess the sex appeal to make a woman like them. Some men just ain't good enough. So, you know, when you get around these so-called men who are successful with women and they try to shame you and they try to tell you that it's your fault, you know, to why women ain't checking for you. Don't pay these men no attention because the truth of the matter is every man is not a prize. Some people just ain't worth nothing. Some people just they just not good enough, you know, in life. You know, you got winners and you got losers, you know, and if you a loser, don't let nobody tell you that it's your fault that you a loser. Everybody don't have what it take to win, you know, and and, and the dating scene is a very competitive arena and uh, every man just ain't got what it take to pull no woman. Some men ain't good enough. Some men have never been good enough, you know, and that's just the way it is. So this whole idea that they like to say that men are the prize, every man is not a prize. Some men just ain't got the juice. They just ain't good enough, you know, and uh, I think people need to stop saying that men are the prize. Some men are a prize. Some men are a prize and some men are not. Every man is not no prize. Some men are just losers and that's just the way it is. And that's the way it's going to be. So, you know, there are certain things in our life, man, that's just, it's just, it's just, it's just not going to ever work itself out. So if you a man and you know that you're not good enough for no woman, just accept it. I mean, it's sad. It's a very depressing reality. But don't let nobody tell you that it's your fault to why you don't have the ability to pull no female. Because I notice people love to blame you. If you a man and women ain't attracted to you, they want to blame you. It, it, you know, how is it your fault that women find you to be an ugly man? You know, if women find you to be ugly, they just find you to be ugly. And it's nothing you can do about it. You know, so. You know, and a lot of these dudes who are successful with women, a lot of them dudes, see, they, they, you know, they can only look at things from their perspective. See, a dude who's been successful with women all of his life. He don't have the ability to understand what it's like for some dudes. That's one of the reasons to why I always say if you a man that's not successful with women, do not talk to men that get women about females, because if a dude never been in your position, he not going to understand your situation and he not going to care. If, if you a loser, you don't want to talk to a winner. You want to avoid them at all costs. But that's been my rant. 
Have a good night.